Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be relaxing my hair. I have a lot of regrowths. I don't usually um, relax my hair every six weeks. Um, but anyway, it's time to get it done. I usually do it myself. I've been doing it since I was 11 years old. So I'm pretty good at it. Anyway, I'm not a professional, but I've been doing it for a few years. Anyway, so I'm going to be using Soft and Beautiful. You can get it from Walmart or the Beauty Supply Store. So um, it comes with a lot of few things. This is the cream. It has a leave-in conditioner. Deep conditioner comes with instructions and gloves. A little wooden stick. The activator for the cream. Moisturizing hair lotion and a neutralizing shampoo. And that's it. I'm also going to use these two clips. I got them from. Uh, TJ Maxx. They had six in a pack, less than five bucks. You're gonna need these brush, this brush. All right, tail comb. That's it. Oh, I don't like the white gloves they send, so I use blue ones. Anyway, so let's get started and you need some old t-shirts because you don't want to ruin you know your t-shirt i also use this to base my hair around so i don't get burned or in case i get burned it doesn't you know ruin my skin i also put it on my ears and yeah so i'm gonna part my hair in four or three because I recently cut my hair off. All right, so I'm gonna be putting this around my head. It can get messy if you don't know what you're doing, so putting this everywhere, it's just a plus. Now to mix the cream. I'm going to use this activator. Do not sniff because it's very strong. I have this much left in the container. You don't have to have it watery, but I like my consistency, let me see, to be like this. Nice and smooth, but not as watery as how the whole bottle will get it to. I'm not telling you to go out there and perm your own hair. I'm just showing you how I do mine. All right, let's put the back up. I put this much on the brush at a time. It's not a lot, but I don't want it running all over the place. So, yeah. I'm gonna go all the way around this section and then I'm gonna go in between. I'm not gonna put it directly onto the roots as yet. I go over my head, my whole head, twice 
the second time with the rat tail comb and that's when I get a little bit closer to my scalp. I'm sorry if I sound a little bit shy but I am. I'm sorry. My parts they don't have to be too small because when I go over it the second time the comb gets it through it. Now I take my time because it does get messy and I don't want it all over my hair. Um, but if I do start to rush it's because um, it's starting to process fast or it would take my scalp a little bit. I mean five I think five or six out of ten times it does ir irritate my scalp but not you know my whole head just parts that have been itching me or you know I try not to wear like a ponytail obviously I can't wear a ponytail now but I try not to irritate my scalp before I get it permed when I'm done with the section I just put the hair all together and squeeze it a little bit just to bring it together. My hair has never been this short, so it's it's kind of weird for me to do the back like this. I usually have a little length, so it is going to get on the ends of the hair in the back, but I need to perm it. I still have half of the perm left in the container. I got some on the ends, so that's okay. So I'm gonna go over for the second time with my rat tail comb. All right, I'm gonna start at the roots. All right, let's not get this in my eyes because that would be bad. I'm just combing the hair to show the process. I'm sorry I sigh a lot. All right, I pick up a little bit of a little bit of uh, perm while I'm combing through. This process is quicker than the first time because the perm's already in. Alright, so I'm going to run through the back real quick because it's irritating the shit out of me.
Alrighty, it's feeling okay. So I'm gonna leave it in for a few minutes. <sighs> Just gonna fix up the front a little bit. If it's burning and you wanna keep it in for a few uh, more minutes, if you have oil sheen, you can spray it on the area that's burning. Or you can wash it out if you're ready. Um, you know, to prevent any burns on your scalp. You can tell that it is processed already. Look. All right, so I'm gonna go wash it out and Okay, I am back and everything is all washed out or that I see. Um, you could tell that um, my hair is perm now. I just rinsed it out. Now I'm gonna put the shampoo in there. And this is just water because I'm not at the sink. I'm gonna rinse this out and I'll be right back. All right, so it's all washed three times and now I'm gonna put the deep conditioner in there. I use both packets just because you don't need it. Depends on how many hair you have, but I use both. Then I'm gonna cover it up with, um, you know, this bean cap and leave it on for 10 minutes. I've been using this, um, this brand for a few years. Um, I've used other brands, tried other brands, didn't like them, and I'll be back. I look crazy, whatever. Hi guys, so I'm back. My hair's washed, permed, washed, conditioned. Anyway, so I am going to... Um, put some leave-in conditioner in there. Put some leave-in conditioner in there. And I'm gonna wrap it and put some bobby pins. Alrighty. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I have, I already have a wash day tutorial on my channel. If you guys want to see how I blow dry and flat iron, I'm going to link it in the description box below. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.